Hey everyone! Hello! I'm filming this upside down. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to... It should work out. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm trying a different angle here. Hopefully things aren't angled too far one way or the other, but we'll, we'll see how this looks. I'm going to take apart the sleeper. A little disassembly video for you guys. So everything is T8 on this. T9. T8. Everything is T8, which is nice. This should be fairly easy to take apart. So as you'll see, I don't know if the production knife will be the same as this. I could zoom in a little bit further. Oh, that's out. Uh, as you can see, this is just a prototype of the sleeper, but on here, uh, it's got torques on both sides. Um, only one side actually opens. That's this side here. I believe, yeah. I don't know if the production is going to have the torques on both sides or not, but you don't need to use two torques drivers to open this up. So, very nice. Let's see here. Whoop. So yeah, the reason why this might be a strange angle it's because I am filming this with my camera, not my phone, because my phone's audio sucks. <laughs> and I'm, I've am i got a, kind of a janky little setup here. My camera stands at an angle right now, so it's precariously <laughs> sitting here. I hope nothing falls, but uh, it's at an angle so I can get kind of an overhead shot without having the camera in front of me because the tripod is so large that I can't get close enough to it if I do it any other way so I'm sitting here and the camera is there and I'm hoping this is filming alright even though it's upside down so that comes off easily enough let's take some pressure off of here move that over for a second take this off here I should come right out. There we go. Doo -doo. All right. Set that in there for now. Save space. I'll zoom out a little bit. Whoop! Wrong way. There we go. Um, as you can see, double row bearings on here. You gonna focus? There you go. That's nice to see. I, I still don't know if it's going to be like that on the production. I would imagine it would be like that on the production models as well. So I'll put that there. Lots of lube on here. Put that here. Yeah, as you can see, it is a D-shaped pivot. So that's good. Good choice on that one. Uh, let's get this cleaned up a little bit. No, I spilled alcohol everywhere. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, now cleaning this. Hey, get out of there. I got, oh my goodness, how much freaking alcohol did I put on there? <laughs> Woo -hoo. Ah, that's a That's a strong smell. Clean that up a little bit. Get this junk off of here. All right, that should be, oh yeah, the bearings. Na, 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 It's good, put that there. So. Uh, it's all cleaned up, alcohol is dried. Whew, still smelling it. Okay, so let's make sure we don't have anything on there. Yeah, this is an impressive knife. Uh, it's very easy to take apart, as you can see. I like, I like the knife uh, a lot. Um, put this back together. I'm gonna use some Gunny Glide, Gunny Glide, and some Gunny Slide. I'll use that on the pivot, not the pivot. Sorry, the detent ball, and then I use this on everything else. I've never used Gunny Glide before. 
So I'm excited to see what it's like. Alright, I'll put some on here. Hmm, it seems to be more controlled than uh, KPL seems to just go everywhere. It seems to be a little more controlled. I don't know if it actually is or not, but I gotta clean that off there a little bit more. Put this on here. Oh, I didn't put the gunny slide on. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go. At least I can do this on camera. There we are. A little bit. That's the right stuff. Yeah, gunny slides. Oh, this stuff is thick. Which it's supposed to be, right? Along the detent track there. But a little bit. Um, no, there, that's good enough. I don't need to put any on there because it's going to get, once it gets seated in to the detent hole, it'll get on there. No problem. So that just slides on there like so. Put this, where's your gunny, gunny slides, gunny glides. Put this on here. One, two, three. Set that in there. Actually, I'll just spin it around a little bit. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. Put this back on. Oh, I must do this. This away. This away. Snappy, snappy. Man, this thing is easy to take apart and put together again. I tell ya. I tell ya, I fought tougher men. But I really can't remember when. Tighten this up, that's tight. This needs to be tightened a little bit more. That's tight. Tighten this up. There we go. This is getting better. Now just loosen the heck. Meh. I tighten it too much and then it won't loosen now. There we go. Centering is off. I don't want to put too much torque on that, so I'll do it this way. Centering is off. Let's get it centered. Woohoo! She's still a little tight. The action's good though. Oh yeah, that's right. It wasn't super drop shutty to begin with. Oh, but it's smoothing smoothening out. Centering is there we go. Pretty dang good. Need blade play? No, solid as a bank vault. Oh yeah. Okay, nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, I'm impressed with that. That's very easy to take apart. Very good. Got this disassembly done. Now I just need to do my first impressions of the knife and I'll be all set. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, you can look forward to a first impressions video coming up very soon. Thanks again. Take care.